story about the violin and the fiddle and a time before the violin was the violin and before the fiddle was the fiddle in a place before it was African, before it was named a name and then changed at another name and then changed. It's a story about an instrument that made its way through the middle passage but before there was a middle passage, there was a first land where the violin was played with one string and two strings and three strings and four. And it was used as a part of celebration. It was used when babies were born. It was used when people looked towards the future. It was used when people prayed. It's an instrument. I'm going to turn this hum down in the background. Give me a second. It was used to be a story instrument by the griot, by the jelly, and all of the people who carried the culture forth. So the violin became uh, a representative of the storytellers and the griot and the jelly. And the jelly, as you may know, for those of you who don't know, is a person who carries the culture forward. So this instrument made its way across to a land where it had never been and was made from things that had never been made for, but played in the hands of people who had always played it. Taken to places that it had never been, but it became the representative. The drum was silent. The drum, which was used for communication, and the drum, which was used for telling stories, and the drum, which was used to say, hi, I'm here, hi, how are you? Hi, what is going on? I will meet you up the way was taken out of the picture because the drum became a representative of freedom. It became the representative of things that were not desired. So the drum was removed and the fiddle replaced the drum and it became a drum with strings on it. And it became the thing that was used to tell many, many, many stories. These stories became the heart. The first job of a musician in Philadelphia was being a fiddler. And the fiddle tunes descended from African tunes, descended from the mixtures of cultures that met in these places, these work institutions now called plantations. Not sure exactly what a good-hearted person would call them. But these places became the heart of the instrument and where it developed. And when the fiddle was played, it was played rhythmically and with a groove. And it was played sweetly so that people could celebrate. And at night, it was played dirty and crunchy. And it represented the things that we now know as rock and as blues and as funk. And eventually becomes jazz. But the violin kept changing through the years and it found its way into the hands of some very talented people. These people eventually noticed as the competitions were started, the fiddle competitions, that, whoa, wait a minute, I can actually remember where my fiddle pass was. And these, this became a beginning for understanding locations, which was a part of how freedom was established in this land. One of the most famous fiddlers of that day was a man named Frederick Douglass, who was known to play and make upon the fiddle. And he was given these traveling papers, and he learned where left and right and up was down. And this man took his fiddle with him, and he kept going with his fiddle. And he took this fiddle, and one day he went north. And when he got north, his fiddle tradition, his violin tradition, became his son's tradition. And that son taught his son. And that son was named Joseph Douglas, the first African-American concert violinist to travel around the United States. For the next hundred years or so, the violin kept changing. It went through blues and reggae and, and, and excuse me, not reggae yet, and ragtime and swing and it was developed in every jazz band from Duke Ellington to Count Basie to Sun Ra had a violinist in it. And one of them 
an early one named Stuff Smith decided that he would electrify his violin. And this electrification eventually made its way over to the guitar. And then we wound up with electric guitar, which gave us the rock music that we know of today. So the violin's been on a journey. I'm gonna play a few things, take us on a journey. with Having a little uh, electricity purity sound thing up here, it's actually, uh, some of it may come through my amp, but we're just gonna go with it, and I'm gonna make the music with it in the way that we make music. And let's just have some fun. Thank you for listening. Again, I'm Owen Valentine, and I hope that this journey meets your approval, the ancestors' approval, and happy Juneteenth.
try to bypass this electric up here because we're having uh, some electrical issues. Hold on.
you for listening. Again, the story of the fiddle, the story of the violin continues on. Today we have many young people playing the violin, and not many playing the fiddle. It's a tradition worth looking into. There's lots of good and great music out there that was done and written for the periods right before and right after Juneteenth. So uh, stay tuned. If you're on Instagram, I have an Instagram page. It's called V Owen Valentine, like T-H-E Owen Valentine. And I have a, vi a video that actually pays tribute to that that I'm probably gonna drop today. So if you want to stop by Instagram, the Owen Valentine, take a look at that. And happy Juneteenth, everyone.